This is the semis and finals all in one night. Grueling tournament matches make for great pride action. Featuring Mirko Krokop, Fedor Emelianenko, Minotauro, and many more. Now shipping at SureDog.com. SureDog.com with Phil Baroni. Um, you're fighting in the Bushido tournament on the 25th, and you get a second shot at Minowa. Why do you think Pride matched you up with him the second time? It's a huge fight over in Japan, and uh, I'm just letting her bad enough the first time. So, what, what were your thoughts on the first fight? Because uh, you know he, he had some success against you. He was he landed some shots on you, but you persevered and your strength came to the end. Yeah, like I said, you know after the fight, that's like my worst fight. You know, I, I was on a downward slump. And uh, I got my confidence already, back, boss? and I got it. You know, <laughs> no, it's got, uh, got no, my head no, right, well, hey, together. I didn't drink for a long like I said, time. I think I'm better things, and uh, that's, that's my good. worst fight, and it will be sure. I'm going to smash him this time. Yeah, he, getting over that hurdle, yeah, because you had a pretty big downturn. Getting over that hurdle mentally, was that the most difficult thing for you? Most difficult thing I've ever three, you go through, pretty much. And, yeah. So it's my competitive fighting career. He's maybe me in my life, you know. Good, how are you doing? I did it. It's done and it's fine. You know, no reason to look back. It's just the future. The future to be uh, the title. What did you do to get past that? Anything different than your routine? Did you change your work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed everything up. I changed everything up. I had a strength and conditioning coach uh, that I believe in. And, uh, you know, I've, I've come a long way with him. And, uh, just my outlook and everything else, man. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sure for it now. Yeah, we don't want to go fight. Yeah. 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 Uh, no more game plans. Ever since I started working on game plans, you know, I'm uh, pretty mm. mm. You know, I just got to fight. I just got to fight. Bring the fight. Everyone knows how to fight. I'm going to do with this or this. And then uh, I'm going to put bad attention on it. And uh, that's it. That's the bottom line. That's the way I fight. That's what I bring to the table. No tricks. No takedowns. No one. No one. Come and go. Your last, your last two fights in the UFC, you were noticeably, noticeably smaller than people have been used to seeing you. When you fought Tanner the second time and then uh, when you fought Pete Sell. But you're back in Pride now and it looks like you've been packing on the pounds. So have you been changing your workout routine? What have, what have you been doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a lot lighter. I'm fighting at 183. And I'm cutting a lot less. I'm walking around 1, 1, 193 while I was walking around heavy. I had uh, I two herniated discs in my, uh, in my neck and. Uh, my uh, start shrinking. Oh, yeah, when they shrink, wow, and, uh, you've been deep into that. I got that thing down. We ought to get it. We ought to get it. I need surgery. You're all screaming at me. You know, what's up? I'm going to get down and train 100%. Yeah, let me say I wasn't training for the Because the jet lag is kicking in, that means it's training at 100. And that back training at 100. Um. Fighting at 83, I mean, you, that's about as light as you've been, right? You, you, you've never fought that low before, have you? Uh, no, I wrestled 177 in high school, my, uh, my junior year, that's the lowest I've been ever since. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? How much you weigh right now? 194 right now, probably. Yeah. What are you going to do to work down to, that, to get into 83? I'm just going to lose my last couple the day before. Yeah. As far as uh, the tournament, have you ever been put in a position where you might have to fight twice in one night? Have you, fought, have you done that before? No, I, I've never done a fight twice. I never fought twice in one night, but I, uh, but I, uh, you know, I've wrestled my whole life, and all we do is wrestle tournaments. So, so I'm used to it. Uh, I'm used to it. I have the experience for that. It's just, you know. My training has really changed how much for like me. Really I'm like training hard. Like in my, in my car. To bring my game to the table. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the rest of the tournament, I mean, you got a pretty, pretty small field of fighters. What do you think? Obviously, you think you're the favorite here. What do you think? Uh, what do you be fighting in the rounds? I think probably Bustamante. And uh, then maybe... Uh, Maybe Henson, which is which is perfect. I got to fight Bustamante, a fight that should have happened the whole time. Should have my title shot, and I got that taken away from me. And then I get to uh, beat up my weight class. It was perfect. Yeah. Beat, the, beat the best guy in my weight class.